Hello, here is BB Walker. I hope you are doing nice and well. Welcome back to my channel today. As you can see, I have some improvement of my home garage studio because I'm waiting for a new equipment and it will be here in a few days. However, today we will talk a little bit about the theory of music and how to use it in practice. We talk a little bit about the scales, how to build scales uh, using the formula, how to you know use the diatonic pentatonic scales and how to use the magic circle of fifth to build the chord progression to find corresponding scale and more and more and more so if you are interested just give me a moment and we will start in a second all right so we are in our super steady mount and today as i said we will be talking a little bit about scales uh, the circle of fifth and we will also build some interesting thing connected with the theory of music but most of this stuff will be uh, i will try to show you some practical you know applications and how you can use it in your own composition on in improvising and so on so so uh, let's get started with the scales in my previous video uh about the the you know scales and the basics I was showing you these two diagrams, the major scale and minor scale. And as, as I show you, the one of the most commonly used scale is C major scale, aka a C A minor scale, because it consists of the same notes, of the same sounds that from C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C goes to C major scale. And this particular is very unique because it doesn't you know involve any uh black bars black keys only this white tone so this note called there is no sharp no um no flat if you want to know what is sharp what is flat how to count them in this diatonic scale there are 12 sounds uh, i mean in an octave is a tw uh, 12 sounds in scale it's eight and the ninth is I mean, the eight is in the beginning of the scale octave up. So please refer to this first video. And today we will be talking about scales. Scales, which is a set of notes, set of tones, because uh, not simple notes. Sec there, there is a lot of scales in the music, baritone scales and so on and so on. But if someone told, uh, told you, uh, ask you, for example, for play me something uh, in C major scale, it actually refers to this, to the atonic uh, scale, uh, very commonly used. And today I will give you this formula how to you know create such scales. But uh, before that, I would like to talk, talk to you and show you this circle of fifth. It's a very great tool. Uh, because all of these things in here and and here I've been uh, how to build chord progression and so on you can build by own self using you know step by step you have the formula and you build uh, you have this intervals because the distance between two sounds is called intervals for example be between C and C sharp is half of the tone and we, we talk and we said that the interval between the C and C sharp is half of the tone. Between C and D is full tone, the whole tone. I mean, bit, with, between E and F, there is also half of the tone because there is no uh, this red, uh, sorry, I always said red, I don't know <laughs> why. There is no this black key. Okay, so, um, okay, so this is my notebook to you know make some driving we will be using it in a second but now i will give you some tips how to use this magic circle of fifths okay so as i said each scale has its own each major scale has its corresponding minor scale and in the example of c major it consists of the same sound like the a minor scale the same the you know order i mean the beginning is different because we always assume that scales start from the key root root note which is g scale start from g and ends on g 
F scale, start on F and ends on F. And it doesn't matter, it is major or minor. This principle is always, this rule is always apply. I mean F major, F start F, ending F. And this first note, this, this root note is called the tonic. However, to build a scale, you always need this root note and the formula for the scale. I mean the intervals. But let's forget about intervals now. So you know that any scale, I mean each major scale, has it, its corresponding minor scale. And this is uh, first application of the circle of fifth. You take a look, for example, G major scale, and you are wondering which scale will be corresponding to G major scale. You take a look in here, and this is the answer. A minor, E minor, sorry. D major, B minor. A major, F sharp minor and so on and so on. So the first application of the circle of fifth is you take a key, take a scale from here and or here. Outer ring is major, inner ring is minor. Yes. And you find any scale and the corresponding is on here. So C major corresponds with A minor, E minor corresponds with G major, D minor corresponding with F major, and so on and so on. So this is the first application. The second application is the magic of chord progression, of chords matching, have been chords being in the scale, in the, you know, music together. And, and how this, I mean, applies for the, uh, for the practical playing. Before I started, you know, uh, learning the theory of music, uh, I was just playing stuff. And maybe you're just playing. And you may wonder why, for example, C major match for F major and G major. And you can play it. And it matches. Also, there are other chords, I mean, not only uh, built using these white bars, but also from this uh, black bars, for example, this one. And they match us together. I mean, D major likes uh, B minor, C major, A minor also likes G. And you can do something like... And it's like it. Also, uh, this one. B flat major and C major. Why there they work together and another one doesn't work together? And now is the magic. I think I mean the the greatest solution. It is one of the greatest thing that I have discovered using the circular fifth. It's great because I don't need to you know looking for a chord progression. I mean, if someone doesn't go to the music school. Like I, 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 I wasn't in a music school, so so all this knowledge I was gathering by myself, by the years of experience. But I was playing by a fan. I, I was f playing in a fun way, and only a few years uh, ago I started to learn it in in you know in practical theory and applying these practical things to theory and and this magic which is uh, with the circle of it to finding a proper chord progression is absolutely fantastic. So, straight to the point. Uh, if you want to build a chord progression, you always need to ask yourself at the beginning in which key you want to have this chord progression. Uh, most of the song, the simple song, I'm not talking about very sophisticated kinds of music like jazz where the chord, uh, I mean the key is changing all the time, but I'm talking about simple pop music, electronic music, techno, all this, you know, um, um, house, 
uh, hip hop, everything, uh, pop rock, rock, hard rock, all these music genres and styles, I usually, I usually use the same key all the time by the whole song. Sometimes there are some exceptions, but most of them are in the same key, so they're using the chord progression inside the key. So any song is in a key, and if you find this key, you're able to improvise with this, playing melody, and also find the proper uh, chords. So the, uh, in the music, everything is connected and everything is mirrored. So if you take a look for a C major scale or A minor scale, or the C major key in minor key in this way, if you are looking at this circle of fifth is the same because scale is a you know set of notes set of sounds set of tones which starts from the root key the note which is called the root key and there is this very commonly used major and minor scale so a a minor C major is the same key is the same uh, chord uh, I mean the same scale the same key C major, A minor. So if I am talking C major, you know that this is the same. And if you want to build a chord progression based on C major, aka A minor, you can do this and the following things. You get this. You go one position to the left, you go one position to the right, and using a marker, like this coloring here, you are making this area. And this area is the basic chords that are inside this chord progression. In the previous video about the theory of using how to play notes and so on, I was showing you every chord that matches the C major chord. And now I will be playing those chords and showing you in here. And let's take a look. All right, so C note, uh, C note, it's the beginning of C major scale. To build the first chord, you, you take 1st, 3rd and 5th, and this is the C major chord, also the tonic of the scale. And where is in here? I will be playing and showing. So, C major, D minor, here, A minor, F major, G major, A minor. And this is the end. The last one is the B. However, it's the uh, dominant uh, diminished chord. You can forget it. However, this one, two, three, four, five, six basic chord progressions that matches this um, this circle of fifth area from here to here could be used to play any song on this chord progression. So you forget the key you get this area and you can play. And of course, not any matches any. However, most of them are in key and you can use it to random chords but I'm only using this one so this could be used to create a song most of them starts from the uh, chord uh, root chord however it's not a, it's not a necessary this uh, this principle doesn't have to be you can start from E minor and, and now we switch to this E minor A minor scale and just play So this is how you build chord progression using the circle of fifths. And now let's take another uh, key, one of my favorite, E minor or G major. So we are switching here. I won't be drawing an, an, an another you, you know area. However, this time area will be from here to here to here. So four chords on this. G major scale, aka E minor scale, also are like the same, like from C major. They are the same. 
However, we forget about F major and D minor, and we are using D major and B minor. Okay, and now we will be doing some chords in this G major. One to the left, one to the right. Get this area and play. I will down with this octave down. G major, uh, D major. matches, okay? But what will happen if we try something doesn't match? Doesn't match, okay? So I use this one. But if I'm in here, I'm perfectly safe. Actually, see D uh, major, B minor, D major, G, E minor, A minor, C and so on. So now you have the second application of the circular fifth. You can take uh, any note, I mean any key and find the chords that matches here. Is this a super 100% rule that the songs should be always in this chord? No, you can always make an exception and go outside. For example, very commonly used rule is to, if you have a um, minor chord, forget about minor and use a major instead. For example, in one of my songs, the progression chord in C major, A minor uh, goes like this. So instead of E major, I'm using e, ma uh, e major. Instead of E minor, I'm using E major. Maybe without this bass line to be more, you know, specific. So the chord progression, I use this one chord. It's completely out of the scale, however, out of this ring. However, you can use this. And it matches. So as you can see, there's not a... This is not a super 100% rule that you should always be in this area. You can, you know, go outside and, and it also matches it, everything. It, the, the beautiful, the, the, the beauty of the music is, you know, to experiment, going somewhere, explore new areas. So you have these two applications of uh, Circular Faith. How to use it, how to, you know, uh, use it to find the great chord progressions. And let's make an the last experiment let's go here to f major or d minor and let's build some chord progression like here from here to here some example So as you can see, it applies to any, any, you know, uh, most of them are using here. They are difficult, more difficult to play. However, you can, of course, do it if you like. Uh, more uh, black keys are <laughs> involved in this, in this uh, keys. Okay, in this keys, in these scales, in this, if we're talking about a circle of fifth, it's the same, actually. The root note is the beginning of the scale. So the key is the beginning of the scale, okay? Um, and the, 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 the next thing that I would like to show you is, to is the magic formula to build those one. 
Okay, we are in pandemic situation and let's, um, you know, assume that all the internet goes down and you are unable to find this great uh, schematics about any major scale and any key and any minor key on any key. How to build them? Uh, the magic is in the formula. Uh, okay, so I'm putting this uh, somewhere else. And the circle of, of fifth also won't be necessary. Uh, the only thing that I need is my magic formula. The magic formula for building minor scales and major scales. And this, this uh, you know, cipher in here refers to intervals between sounds. What is interval between sounds? As I said at the beginning, or a few minutes ago, if you build a scale, it doesn't matter if it is minor or major, you're starting with the root note. So you want to build a C major scale? Why not? I don't have a diagram, but I try to use it. But this C major are so, so boring because it only have this white bars. Let's build something more sophisticated. I, 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 I am choosing G major, E minor. Okay, so let's build this G major using this formula uh, or E minor using this formula and we compare the result. Okay, so what does it mean this W and this H? This refers to the whole, whole interval between two tones. So this is uh, twice more than a half of the tone. Okay, so if we have C major between C major and C sharp, is half of the tone between C I mean between C and D tone there is whole tone W between A E and F there is half of the tone because there is no black bar uh, because this uh, piano is prepared for this major and minor scales this is this diatonic scales uh, of course, any instrument could be different scales like bar baritone guitars and so on and so on. So, let's uh, take our formula. Uh, let's take the key that we want to build. Let's see, it will be E and we will be building building a minor scale. Minor, minor. E minor. So, the first sound is always E. I mean the root note of the scale that we are building. Doesn't matter you are building minor or major. You taking first E. And then the first interval that they are uh, in the secret formula is whole. I mean from E go to F. This is half of the tone. This is whole tone. So the next sound in our scale will be F sharp. So I'm writing F sharp, sharp. This is sharp. <laughs> okay, F sharp. The second one is half. The second interval that is used to build the third degree. The, the degree in a scale is the, the sound. First degree, second degree, and then this is first degree, second degree, and now it's fifth, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth degree will should be the, the beginning. I mean the E. And we will try to build this and check if it's work. Okay, so half of the tone for the this is interval 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 and and the, the rule is whole half whole whole half whole whole i'm writing this you know to to really understand and this are this are this are our components the degrees or scale or the sounds that is the component of the scale so we are our of f sharp and we should go half of the tone. Half of the tone is G. So I'm writing G on the third degree. And the fourth degree, the next interval is uh, is whole. From G to uh, next whole is uh, A. Okay, I get A. Now the interval whole from A. Sorry, from A, I'm here on A. The whole interval is B. And half of the tone is C. Okay. As you can see, from B to C, half of the tone. 
half of the tone so we are here uh, again whole between six and seventh uh, whole so C whole half fun D D and the last one is the uh, whole E oh my god we got the result and the result is that our A minor scale AKS G major G major G major is here this is the same should consist of the following sounds I will showing and playing E F sharp G A B C D and E at the end and let's compare this secret formula with our with our you know help and support from internet so it was G major and E minor G major or E minor E minor isn't here let's take a look oh my god we got the success we have built the scale congratulations you have built your own scale for the beginning from the scratch actually and for the corresponding G major scale let's take a look it starts from G ends from G but it has the same notes there is only you know reorder of this you know order but I I choose this one because it only has this one uh, half of the non sharp I mean F sharp and rest of them are uh, white 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 tones so magic formula and the magic formula for major is why uh, whole whole half half as you can see now I will put this magic formula into description maybe if you are bored on your you know um, uh, lockdown you're staying at home and you have nothing to do maybe you want to build some scale <laughs> there is 12 scales on a major 12 in major this is a lot of work to you know writing sounds and playing them okay so this is uh, this is the end of the theory. I mean, uh, 27 minutes. We have built a scale. I will explain you the circle of fifth. I think it's a, a good score. I'm talking some shortcuts, but if you have any questions, just give me a comment. And now some, you know, um, ending. So if you have the chord progression and you are playing Some piano songs okay it's great you you have chords you are playing but what about the uh, you know electronic music I know uh, many of you are asking about electronic music so let's change my my um, my my, my uh, registration to synth I have prepared here some crazy stuff and I will give you some extra tips so uh, basically if you are composing music <laughs> And you are using, for example, these arpeggios, these uh, harmonic uh, synthetic progressions. They are program that you start from some and they are playing. But how to find the, you know, matching sounds? And the answer is the same, like in the begin, as, as I said in the beginning. You take uh, notes from the scales. There is also some reduced major and minor scales called the pentatonic scales, very useful for uh, you know improvisation on the guitar. On my videos, I, I'm using mostly the, the uh, pentatonic scales. The pentatonic scales, for example, minor pentatonic scales is a scale with reduced uh, minor is reduced fifth, fourth, and seventh degrees. So you take our created um, remove second. Uh, I remove fourth and seventh or two or fifth depending is major or minor and you are building a pentatonic scale pentatonic scale is very great for you know practicing I will make another video about pentatonic but let's go back to the topic so I would like to make something and I will be using I will take uh, for example the C major scale or our scale that I have built uh, uh, to be in key G major E minor and we do some practice playing okay with this build sounds I would be using only this sounds from this you know building in here so let's play something at the end uh, Disco Fox and if you are interested arpeggios 
synthetic synthesizers. Please refer to video I'll put in the description. And you know, whatever. So to, you know, summarize and tell you what's happened at the beginning, I was in C major scale and then I switched to... And you take only a few notes, maybe three to four, and usually it's enough to create nice pattern. If you, you know, convert this note, simple notes to chords, you get the chord progression. And if you remove these chords and take only the first notes, for example, E, F sharp. You can build whatever you want, so if you are interested in our videos, in our channel, how to build electronic music, acoustic music, whatever you want, just give me a comment and please take a look about the playlist about the Yamaha PSR 670 and music related videos, there's a lot of knowledge and as always, if you have any questions about how to do this or that, just give me a comment and I will give you an answer or give you a link to the video because most of the knowledge about this one has been explained how to use live knobs, how to use voices, how to create styles, how to create loops. Most of the stuff is in this channel ready to you. You know, it's free of course, so you can use it as you know and always giving me a comment. I have a lot of time lastly <laughs> because this pandemic, so I'm not home and creating new stuff so thank you for watching it was bb walker see you later in the next video good luck and stay safe